You guys, I know reselling and everything gets a bad name and has a very bad rep, but I'm gonna be honest, there are some times that this right here might not actually be that bad and actually is necessary and helpful in some occasions. Always remember you guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, tell somebody you love them today like I love you guys. And of course, man, let's go ahead, let's get into this video. Yeah, yeah, he got kicks, but like switch, but like switch. I don't miss. Don't do bricks, don't do He got kicks. The kid is sick. The kid is sick. Team with rock, rock, cause he got hits. He got kicks. What is up, YouTube? I'm He Got Kicks. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, there we get all the notifications every time I drop one of these bangers for you guys. Hit the like button, hit the share button, do all those great things for me. Follow me on Instagram at the real He Got Kicks, and of course the hat page Perfect Brim and TikTok, he got kicks 95 Shout out to today's comments, man. Appreciate you guys engaging with the content and of course, man, being positive in the comment section, making this a safe place for sneakerheads to come, talk, and just chill. You guys, today's video is a little something different. I wanted to get your guys' opinions on this. I wanted to talk about something that I kind of been thinking about for probably the past month or so and just finally decided, you know what, let's just make a video, get your guys' opinion on it. I want to see everybody talking in the comment section because I'm really curious what your guys' opinion is on this topic. But you guys, I know that reselling and everything gets a very bad rep. Of course, people don't like it, everything like that. I completely understand they get in the way of people that really wanna wear the sneakers and this and that. But if we're being honest, reselling has always been there. There's been reselling as long as I've been in sneaker game, which has been, you know, since 2014 is when I started working in retail. And even then, sneakers were being resold sneakers were being bought early, stuff like that. A lot of things was going on that was, you know, it kind of sucked for people that wanted to get it, you know, for retail release day and everything, but it's been going on. And of course, if you really look at it, almost everything does have a resale market in some way, shape or form. And that's literally everything. And it honestly, it's not always bad in my opinion. Sometimes it is necessary and actually comes in handy sometimes. If we're being honest, like, you know, if you watch guys like, uh, what is it, Frankie now, he be dropping videos for Cool Kicks and Rami. And if you watch all these people that own shops doing buyouts and stuff like that, there are sometimes actually you can watch it and be like, man, this actually might be helpful for these people. Because whenever they're talking about, you know, hey, I'm down bad real quick, gotta sell this really, really quick, I just need to make a couple hundred dollars, this and that they have that asset that they can take to the store and sell it really quick and get a you know a couple hundred bucks or whatever they may need for that time being to hold them over to a payday or whatever it may be and you know that does come in handy sometimes so if you kind of look at it like resale stores might be kind of like a, a necessary evil i guess you could say uh, for some people and you know if you honestly look at it you know it's not that bad and i'm gonna be honest like it's really not you know, I get like why some people hate it. I definitely understand it because I'm the same way. I have to pay resale for 90, probably 95% of what you see back here, I paid resale for. I hate it too, but then some of the sneakers that I have, I'm gonna be honest, I still wouldn't have them without resellers. So again, I wouldn't have hit for retail. So reseller kind of helped me build my collection to what it is. Because I'm the type of person, if I'm honest, if I want a sneaker, I'm just gonna go get it, 100%. Like whatever it is, I'm gonna go buy it. Don't really care if I really want it, I'm gonna get it. But, and I know a lot of you guys are the same way. Though there are some instances that it is good, like those instances where you need to make a quick, you know, couple hundred bucks, whatever, you can take some sneakers, go sell it, pick it up, and you know, you're good to go, you're covered for as long as you need. But I'm gonna be honest, you know, it does suck. I mean, let's be real here. Now, stores, it isn't the store that you're really fighting whenever it comes to like release day releases and stuff like that. Because you can also watch some of these videos and see some people that actually won raffles and everything they're literally going to the store picking it up and then taking it to said resale store and they're selling it for the profit there instead of selling it to like a regular person or whatever then they are taking it to a resale shop which i'm going to be honest i would much rather people like actually take it and resell it because those are the kind of the people that set the market it isn't the resale stores because the resale stores the vast majority of them are going to look at stockx which i always think it's kind of funny everybody craps on stockx 
but everybody goes to StockX to look at, you know, market. You know, what is market right now? Everybody craps on it, but everybody uses it because it's the cheaper one. If you go to GOAT, it's always more expensive. So people are gonna go to the cheaper one. So I've always thought that's kind of funny. I wish people that actually, you know, bought the sneaker would actually, if they're gonna resell it, just resell it themselves because if they take it to this store, they're gonna make 20, 30, 40 bucks off of each shoe, whatever it is, and then they are going to mark it up 20% past lowest ask. That is usually what happens because what StockX is, of course, stores will take StockX after fees and the vast majority will add 15 to 20% for their overhead and that's what the price will be at the store. That's the kind of things that whenever I look at it, I'm just like, man, I, I just wish they would kind of do it that way because if you watch it, and you know, I'm gonna be honest, I get, you know, I'll sit there and I'll watch even though like Rami's videos are like an hour long, I'll sit there and I'll just get stuck and I'll just keep watching. I'm like, dang, like I watched this whole hour long video because people are coming in and you know, some of them don't even have numbers. They don't even know what they want. So like, that's the kind of thing is like, you know, if you know what you have, figure out a number, know what you need and go in there and ask for it. So that's the kind of things like, you know, me, I know what I would ask for a lot of these. Like if I needed it, thank God, I'm not in a situation where I, you know, need it and probably never will, knock on wood. Hopefully, you know, God bless me way beyond what I deserve, that's for sure. But definitely think that honestly, I just, it is a necessary evil in some aspects. And you know, some people call it evil. I, so that's why I say the necessary evil. But me, I don't really care. You know, I don't bash resellers, or whatever. I have a lot of friends that are resellers and you know, they hook me up, you know, even though I'd still pay the resale. I don't have to pay the, the regular price, that's for sure. But I definitely think that there is times that it is definitely necessary for people to be able to use it and use it to their advantage as well. Because if not, you'd have to post it online and wait for somebody to buy it. And you know, there there is options for you to actually just go and get cash in hand immediately. So that's why I think sometimes it is necessary. It isn't always bad. Now, you know, again, I get why some people might disagree with me, but I just want to get your guys' opinions. I want you guys to tell me what you guys think as always, man. I love hearing you guys. I love hearing you guys talk in the comment section and have conversations. That's why I love doing these type of videos because as always, man, this, this is what we're here for. Share info, get other opinions, talk about sneakers, talk about what's going on in sneakers, everything. That's why I love what I do. So I appreciate you guys as always. Just wanted to kind of talk a little, little bit to you guys. Talk about a topic I've been thinking about. And as always, you guys, thank you guys for everything you guys have done for me. Appreciate you guys. And as always, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.